January 17th, continuing my series on backyard farming in Florida. This is going to be the first video that I'm going to do on a hydroponics system that I'm working on. Uh, so this is a first for me, so it's pretty much an experiment at this point. Uh, so far, I've got these uh, four-inch drain pipes that I've drilled uh, holes in to hold these cups. I'm just going to use these little plastic cups that uh, plan to punch holes in them, probably with a with a soldering iron. This is going to be a flood drain system. Here's my pump uh, pumping up through a header that goes into the bottom of the uh, the pipes on this end. They're, I've got them kind of tilted slightly down so that the high point on the system is on this other end. And you can see there's also a connector that right now is not plumbed up on that end that basically goes up through the pipe and uh, through an O-ring. It's just got a coupling on it right now so it's it's up to within about an inch of the top of the pipe so that will be my overflow pipe my intentions are right now from what I've read uh, several different articles that probably pump for about 30 minutes out of every two hour period the particular pump I got is the uh, bought it from Harbor Freight uh, this is the uh, larger of the little mini pumps they have. This one supposedly pumps 190 gallons an hour. It has a half inch outlet on it. So that's connected uh, via half inch plastic tubing up to the header. Now this particular pipe is uh, not found in right in the PVC area. You may have to look around for it. This is thin wall pipe it's not like schedule 40 or whatever you definitely don't want to buy PVC I would really have preferred to um, have used the square PVC pipe that apparently is available but I just didn't really know where to locate it that would have made it very easy to put these connections in the bottom uh, to feed the water in I could have used a standard bulkhead connector and got a good seal as it was you can see right here I used a uh, half inch to three quarter inch bushing and an o-ring and then after I went th actually through the pipe because it's slightly curved uh, I went ahead and used uh, RTV or silicone sealant and uh, so far it's, uh, it's doing pretty good it's, uh, it's not leaking at this time the uh, four inch caps that go on the end they'll probably be the last thing that I put on this system as a matter of fact I may try to figure out a way to uh, to not actually cement them on here uh, I've experimented a little bit with using some saran wrap uh, and it seems to do pretty good for right now uh, basically so I can service service these connections at the end. I'd prefer not to put them on there. I used a three inch hole saw to cut this pipe with and you'll see here it's pretty easy to do. hardest thing is just getting this plastic out of here. Get you a pair of channel locks. That's all there is to it. Went back in with a little grinding wheel to deburr this and plan to use a yard blower 
to uh, go ahead and clean this pipe out and get all these plastic shavings out of here. Saturday, January the 24th. Managed to do a little work on uh, the hydroponics. Actually got everything pretty well plumbed into the uh, container here for storing the water. Um, you can see right now I've got it running. Uh, supposedly that little pump is uh, about 175 gallons per hour. According to my rough calculations, these tubes, which are originally they were 12 feet long, and I cut about a foot off of them. Uh, I think there's probably about 15 or 16 gallons of, of liquid in them right now, without the cups, you know, and plant holders in them. You can also see what I was talking about before. I've got these caps put on there temporarily with a little saran wrap. Um, they do drop of water here or there every once in a while, but it saves me right now from, uh, from cementing them on, and uh, fortunately uh, I didn't because I've had to experiment a little bit right now with this uh, middle tube. I had a problem with it overflowing, and that was really due to the fact that the way the header works, the pump was spraying up into the center tube, so I had to put a little restriction in there, and I'll uh, show you what I did there exactly. Now, if you're a perfectionist, I would suggest that you might consider putting levels, levelers on these legs. Uh, you save yourself a lot of time and trouble. I, I probably you know, maybe three hours into trying to get this system level. I'm trying to accomplish two things. that It overflows out the uh, overflow tube here, which comes back into the system right here. And at the same time, when the pump turns off, I want it to also drain completely back and empty the tubes completely. I'll just turn the pump off. And uh, I'll show you a couple of things that I've, I've figured out here that might be helpful for anyone that's going to attempt to build one of these things. Like I said, one of the problems I had was the uh, center tube, because it was right below the pump, it, I, had, I kept elevating this tube, trying to shim it up with, uh, I was using these little pieces that were left over and which come in quite handy to, to use for shims underneath each individual tube but the center tube uh, would overflow and it was basically because the pump was spraying directly up into that through that header so took a little piece of uh, plastic tubing and just rolled it up I had to actually cut a little piece of it off and rolled it up and stuck it this is a bushing uh, that's actually in that uh, center tube, actually in all of the tubes, and I just stuffed it down completely through there so it was flush and it afforded a little bit of restriction. And one of the things that I looked at when I was fooling with this and surfing the web, there was some ideas about a, attaching um, the Visiqueen uh, to a uh, to the PVC, and I found some some little saddle type things, uh, but they were quite expensive. Uh, well, actually, they were prohibitively expensive, uh, as far as I was concerned. They were like two dollars and fifty cents a piece, or whatever. So I started experimenting around a little bit with just using plastic tubing, and uh, although I didn't do this. Uh, I think there's maybe some potential here where you could actually um, clamp the plastic down like this and probably with uh, the appropriate adhesive, uh, something that would actually get hard, lay a bead of that around each edge of it and uh, you'd probably have a good 
uh, permanent connection. Well, this will be the conclusion of, to this part of the video. I've uh, got some chemistry coming in, the nutrients. Uh, I was not able to really locate anything here in Tallahassee, Florida. Uh, so I bought it all online and expect to see uh, something come in maybe in the next week or so. And I'll continue the video and keep you informed of anything I find interesting in backyard farming.